Hello? Hello, everyone. Good morning and good afternoon and good, uh, good evening. So the, uh, all of you living in the, you know, uh, other countries, uh, so maybe the, because of the time difference, uh, you may uh, hear my the lecture at night. Okay, uh, my name is uh, uh, Kyu Ho Lee. Uh, I'm the law professor at the Chungang University, uh, located in Seoul, South Korea. So I guess uh, some of you is, uh, are living in uh, Korea, but uh, many of you are living in outside of the Korea. So uh, today's lecture is the, uh, basically based on the Korean law. However, the, I will just uh, give you some sense of uh, you know, the uh, international uh, copyright law in, pers uh, in some sort of perspectives. So I'm happy to uh, meet you online. So I feel sorry uh, not to meet you in the, you know, the offline. Uh, today, I'm gonna talk about the copyright law or general of OK influencers. Okay. Let me share the by the uh, PowerPoints with you. Okay. Yeah, and then it's not working. So this is a uh, uh, my the you know the, the CV. So I'm specializing in intellectual property law and cultural heritage law, uh, private international law. And so on. I'm a member of the, uh, the Korean uh, Copyright Commission, so I'm very familiar with the Korean copyright law. Also, the uh, I can talk, you know, the uh, specialized in the international copyright law in general. So today uh, I'm going to talk about the, you know, several you know topics of uh, main topics uh, of a uh, Korean copyright law. Uh, and uh, other uh, contractual uh, issues between the, you know, the Korean the, uh, music industry and uh, uh, YouTube. So uh, I got uh, so many questions from uh, all of you. Uh, some of them is uh, written in the Spanish, but uh, you know, translates are, you know, the, uh, translated uh, uh, those of the, uh, those. Uh, uh, to the you know the Koreans, so I understand. Uh, so I just uh, wrote down, I just inserted uh, you know those are your questions uh, into my the PowerPoint, and uh, I'm gonna answer all of them. Uh, but the, some of the your questions actually are overlapping uh, with the others, so the, I just you know sorting out all of the questions. Uh, uh, many of them is uh, related to Korean the music industries. Uh, the, uh, in short, uh, I can say uh, the, whenever you have the uh, reaction videos for the, uh, uh, the uh, music or the uh, uh, music videos, actually it is okay uh, based on the fair use doctrine. Actually, there is uh, some uh, case laws uh, rendered by the uh, uh, U.S. courts, uh, we don't have uh, any a case law uh, regarding the uh, those of the you know the reaction videos. But uh, I um, uh, I'm sure it is it's going to be uh, okay uh, even in Korea. Uh, also, another uh, thing I want to mention uh, is that uh, there's a, a two uh, a music. You know, CMOs. CMOs stands for uh, collective uh, management organizations. Uh, there are the only two uh, music copyright associations. One is uh, uh, the CONCA, uh, the represent, it stands for Korea the Music uh, Copyright Association. And that the other is COSCAP, Korea uh, Society uh, for the uh, Music. Uh, you know, the composers and the publishers. So 97% uh, of the, you know, the music uh, authors uh, the belongs to, they're the member of the uh, CONCA and uh, only 3% of the uh, music uh, publishers 
uh, it belongs to the uh, cost cap. So it is very important uh, issues uh, because the uh, Conca actually uh, they made a, a contract with the YouTube in the 2010 uh, to uh, make you know the YouTubers like the you know uh, K influencers uh, freely use the music video um, online. So definitely you don't have any problem with the, you know, the, uh, uh, have the reaction video uh, for the Korean uh, music. Uh, but uh, still, uh, maybe you have an interest in the, you know, Korean drama and the other the movie or the other, you know, cinematographic works. Actually, you, you will have uh, the issue uh, with the KBS and MBC SBS. So the, as long as you are the using uh, the trailers or the teasers, it's going to be okay as a fair use. However, you just react to uh, the, the uh, substantial part of uh, or the, all of the you know the episode of the TV drama. Actually, the you're going to be uh, sued uh, just automatically by the you know the KBS or the SBS and the NBC. But uh, actually, the uh, CJ, CJ ENM, they are not only the major the company, but uh, recently they're, they're getting popular. Uh, they just uh, released, you know, the uh, some uh, uh, teasers. It's a whole lot, a substantial portion of the you know whole episodes uh, on YouTube. Actually, they have the contract with the YouTube, so uh, some of the you know the drama and the movie or the other the cinematographic works, as uh, as far as uh, you know, uh, those are concerned. You can use the uh, them as the reaction videos. Also, another thing is, um, uh, as far as the song cover, English song cover is concerned. You don't have any issues in Korea. Uh, also, uh, maybe the you know the Korean so some writers and the Korean the uh, music uh, CMOs. Cannot sue them. You cannot sue all, you know, the uh, the YouTubers. However, uh, maybe the uh, cost cap only three percent of the uh, music, you know, the publishers actually they're the member of the you know the uh, cost cap and specialized in the uh, synchronized music. Just, uh, in other words, the background music. So maybe the, you need to check uh, in the, between the contract between the YouTube, uh, in the, the check the, between the you know the cost cap and the YouTube. Otherwise, uh, you can uh, you can be sued. So um, as far as the background music is concerned, it is uh, you know the repertoire of the you know conca, you'll be okay. However, you use the you know the uh, you know the background music. Uh, of the repertoire of the post cap, uh, you will have the, the copyright issues. But um, most of all, you don't have any problem. So uh, I always check the, you know, the, uh, actually I don't unload any of the contents uh, to, uh, you know, YouTube uh, regarding any duration of videos because I'm the copyright law of professors. Uh, however, I'm, I, I give uh, lectures uh, also, and uh, I love all the you my know, lecture on online and uh, especially YouTube. So whenever I use the image, music, or, or the cinematographic works, I always uh, is cautious uh, to whether the, I can have the copyright issue or not. But uh, overall, uh, the, as, as long as you use the, you know, the what is the uh, Korean music, uh, uh, for the you know the reaction videos is going to be okay. So, uh, so uh, basically, the in Korea, uh, the intellectual property law consists of a major the uh, six six. Uh, I think the the major the five, six, seven, eight, nine. But uh, uh, especially the for this your workshop. Uh, we are always you know, only focused on the copyright law. And so copyright law consists of the uh, author's right and the, uh, the hold of neighboring rights. 
So uh, if you uh, what is it, developed and unloaded the, the English song curve of the Korean uh, K-pop, so actually you don't have the, any issues of, of the copyright law uh, because the uh, the CONCA actually uh, the you know agreement to be treated uh, with the you know YouTube to uh, release uh, their the uh, repertoire uh, freely. But uh, still, we have an issue with the uh, holder of the neighboring right, uh, such as the broadcasting company and uh, uh, you know the uh, what is it, the phonographic uh, phonogram producers is the music producers. So uh, as long as the song cover is actually the there's a no gap uh, the for the you know the uh, music producers and uh, uh, you know the uh, singers uh, you know the, as a performers uh, to uh, to invoke the, their neighboring rights uh, because you just uh, you know cover the uh, the brilliant uh, you know uh, K-pop in English or the in Spanish uh, or the other languages it's going to be okay because uh, you know just a uh, um, you just covered the, you know, the Korean uh, K-pop in English. So there is no chance for the, you know, the performers and the music producers to claim that they are the neighboring right. However, you just uh, react to you know, the uh, Korean the, uh, the K-pop, maybe uh, writers uh, so, so music producers and the singers can claim the neighboring right, but the normally it's not the case. So, um, what is the copyright? This copyright is a, a right obtained by the creator or author of the work which contains the original expression of human beings, uh, idea, or emotions. Uh, in this uh, regard, you know the originality. Uh, you know, is uh, re uh, required for the uh, what is the subject uh, uh, matter of the uh, copyright. So originality, uh, you know, consists of the uh, independent writing uh, and the uh, uh, minimal level of creativity, uh, like you know the U.S. case law. Uh, normally, the uh, as long as the you know the uh, creator or the authors. Uh, independent, independent writer, you know, his uh, uh, works, uh, the, he got the original, original expression of a human being's ideas or the emotions. Uh, in terms of the uh, literary works, uh, however, the functional works, uh, such as uh, the diagram uh, uh, or the architecture, uh, definitely the Korean case law requires you know, the uh, the uh, independent uh, independent writing as well as the uh, minimal level of creativity. Also, copyright consists of the uh, two, uh, you know, the uh, divided rights. One is the uh, economic right. It is called uh, it is also called as the uh, the property right. But the other is a moral right. It's a personal right. So uh, actually, the as long as the actually the, as a uh, K influencer, um, you might be, you know, the uh, using the K pop uh, for the, you know, the reaction video. Also, you can be creators as long as you just develop, upload the you know, YouTube video. Actually, you are the author of a derivative work. In other words, you are the author of a secondary works. So the uh, uh, you are the users. Also, you are the creators, so the baby, you can be protected by the Korean the copyright law as well. So, as the author, you have two rights. One is the, the economic right, the other is moral right. But the moral right is uh, il, uh, inalienable uh, uh, to the author. So, uh, the author cannot transfer. Uh, moral right to others or the inherit you know the moral right to the uh, you know relatives 
So basically, the uh, the moral right is the only uh, uh, vested in the you know the uh, the original creator uh, of the you know copyright. But the economic right uh, is a transferred to others. So um, in terms of you know the uh, assignment contract uh, of the copyright, actually we are talking about economic right, not the moral right. So the as is the you know the uh, you covered uh, you know the Korean uh, K-pop in English or the other languages. Uh, if you just uh, sing a song or oh, very well, it's okay. But uh, you just uh, you know the as a parody, you just uh, destroy you know the K-pop. Maybe uh, you can be sued by the uh, uh, author because it's not my song. Uh, so maybe you just, you know, the, you couldn't maintain the, you know, uh, integrity of the uh, song. Maybe you can be uh, sued by the uh, several persons, uh, music authors and the singers. It's not my song like that. But uh, you sing a song very well, no problem at all. So the, that, that is, uh, the, you know, the types of a moral right. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, the originality requires the independent writing and the uh, minimal level of creativity. Also, another thing is the, uh, recently we talked about uh, many, uh, you know, AI related uh, issues, but um, uh, current, uh, you know, the uh, Korean law and uh, uh, many, the, you know, the foreign laws, actually the AI, you know, the produced uh, works is not the copyrightable uh, because it is not created by the uh, human beings. So definitely uh, only human beings can create, you know, the copyrighted works. So I got the many questions. I just inserted, uh, you know, the uh, your questions one by one uh, into the, my, the, you know, the presentation, uh, you know, the PowerPoints. Uh, question, uh, your question is, as a creator, how do I handle copyright? Uh, actually, the, um, maybe the, one of the, you know, the famous, you know, the uh, intellectual property uh, creator is the, uh, who, uh, who is a developer of the uh, Dyson, you know, the vacuum cleaners. Uh, he is the uh, uh, inventors, also the designer of the uh, the you know uh, vacuum cleaners. So uh, as long as uh, you know, the, as soon as uh, he uh, has an idea of developing uh, some of the you know the device or the you know vacuum the cleaners. He always think about uh, how to manage the, you know, the uh, my uh, intellectual property. Um, maybe the, he just uh, targeted uh, certain countries. Um, actually, he uh, just uh, you know pick up the, you know the Korea as the key uh, countries. Uh, he just uh, you know developed the, uh, his market uh, in Korea. So. Uh, he just uh, patented his, uh, you know, the uh, vacuum uh, uh, cleaners in Korea, but the, he never advertised uh, vacuum cleaners in the Korean the TV uh, commercials. Uh, he just uh, wait and see, or until uh, LG uh, copied uh, his, uh, you know, vacuum cleaners. Uh, after as soon as you know the um, LG copied. He's a vacuum cleaner. Actually, he sued him. And he sued LG, and he got the fame, uh, the, you know, among the Korean the press. So, um, as creators, actually, the you have a plans. It's uh, how to manage, you know, the uh, what is my, uh, you know, original expressions. He just you just pick and you know choose, and uh, you uh, you. Just to memorize them, and uh, as long as uh, somebody just you know the uh, copy the you know the what is the uh, uh, pirates 
uh, your the copyrighted works, uh, maybe you can sue them. Okay, you can just uh, you know the report uh, inform the YouTube to uh, you know the maybe you and then YouTube just uh, shut down or to take down the those uh, you know copyrighted materials. So uh, you just uh, you know, uh, you must be it's a watchdog. Um, Otherwise, you cannot, you know, manage your copyright. Also, another thing is maybe you can, you know, the uh, what is it? Become a member of a collective society, uh, many of the societies in Korea, in the Germany, or in the in the uh, United States, in several countries. You can be, you know, member of the, you know, the uh, the music, you know, uh, copyright, you know, the uh, uh, CMOs. And then uh, you can use you know, the uh, uh, repertoires of uh, other members uh, freely. So also, you just can make uh, you know, the derivative works of the, those repertoires. So uh, there's uh, another thing you can just you know, the, uh, what is it? exploit you know, the uh, repertoires of other the music authors. So the, uh, another thing is, uh, expression of an author's idea or emotions uh, does not need to be fixed to tangible medium uh, in Korea. Maybe the, some of the you know, foreign laws, such as the uh, US laws and the uh, British laws, uh, actually, the, according to the, those laws, the requires uh, the fixation of a tangible uh, medium. A uh, fixation of the uh, copyrighted work, the tangible medium, such as a film uh, or the file or the uh, paper, um, other uh, you know tangible mediums. Uh, but in Korea, is uh, not necessary uh, for the protect copyright protection. So it means in proper you know the, uh, the dancing and the break dance, uh, yoga uh, or the lecture. Uh, will be protected, uh, but uh, um, normally they don't claim any copyright protections. Uh, for example, uh, Sai actually uh, he bought uh, the copyright uh, uh, of the you know the uh, Sai dance the, in the Gangnam style dance is a kind of a horse dance, uh, horse riding dance uh, from the you know the composers. And so uh, it means that I uh, uh, has owned the copyright of the you know the uh, you know horse riding dance, but uh, so the, somebody just you know the uh, uh, mimic the you know the or the follow the you know the uh, horse riding dance on YouTube, um, you don't have any problem because the uh, it can be used in uh, fair use. Um, Otherwise, uh, you know, he cannot be famous in the uh, globally. Another thing is uh, almost the, the I checked, you know, the uh, international agreement uh, regarding copyright and the uh, you know uh, neighboring rights. Uh, the international agreement is uh, uh, it is called the Berne Convention. Uh, on I think the one seventy nine countries. A member of the Berne Conventions. Uh, according to the Berne Conventions, actually, um, uh, key uh, uh, provision of the Berne Convention is the National Treatment Doctrine. So, uh, as a member country, uh, 179 countries uh, have to protect this, uh, the copyrighted works of foreigners. So, basically, um, in globally, I think the you know the uh, I think that the copyright laws is uh, conversed is uh, uh, similar. However, depending on the you know cultures, uh, the I think the duration of the you know uh, copyright protection is uh, uh, different. For example, in Mexico, I think the uh, Mexico is a uh, uh, protected one hundred years uh, uh, after. Uh, you know, subsisting in the uh, uh, what is it, the lifelong uh, of the, the lifelong time of the, uh, the authors, and you know the, the seven years thereafter. 
100 years thereafter. So in Korea, it was seven years after you know, the author's death. Uh, so depending on the, you know, the, uh, each country's uh, uh, copyright law, uh, somehow uh, maybe deeper the, uh, varies uh, depending on the country's uh, the culture and the community atmosphere, et cetera. Anyway, uh, most of our work is a protected in the, the work, the protected in Korean law, and the protected in the uh, U.S. laws. Um, that's what I'm trying to say. As you can see, the uh, the full name of a Bonn Convention is the Bonn Convention for the Protection of the Literary and Artistic Works. Um, it is adopted in the 1886. Uh, who is the uh, key, uh, you know, the member of the uh, this Bonn Convention? Uh, France. France is the, the really active, uh, the played an active role is uh, adopting the Bonn Conventions. Now, the as of the August the twenty third, two thousand twenty one, the, the the total country, the total number of the contracting parties on the one seventy nine, as I mentioned, Korea is the. Uh, um, you know, they uh, adopted this firm convention when? On the August 21, 1996. Um, so, uh, 1996, actually at that time, I was in the uh, United States and the, in the, I'm, uh, I was a, a law student uh, at the Washington University uh, School of Law in St. Louis, Missouri. And, and then actually the Korean copyright law is not that active uh, or the vitalized. Um, I, the, in a sense, Korea is a the developing uh, the country at the time. Now it's a Korea is a advanced countries. When I was young, the Korea is a undeveloped countries. So I experienced all of them. And then uh, when I was at the, uh, Lost on the, in the Yonsei University in the 1996, 1986, and 1987. And then the, there is no class uh, you know, the, for the copy law. It means in, um, back then, so the, uh, Korea is not a, you know, the uh, protecting uh, copy law effectively. So uh, nowadays, uh, the Korea is uh, advanced countries. Uh, so we can uh, uh, sense uh, how to uh, protect the uh, capital law as uh, the uh, undeveloped country, the developing country, and the advanced country. I explained all of them. So the, I think that the, we need to have the balanced you know, the, uh, minds how to protect uh, what strike a balance between the users and the uh, copyright owners. Otherwise, uh, we, we, can, uh, we can screw up the whole situation. So, uh, the, somebody just, you know, the, uh, uh, think uh, or the, you know, the claimed uh, Koreans need to be, uh, has, uh, have the balanced ideas. Otherwise, uh, uh, you can be criticized because the, you actually the pirated, you know, pirating countries uh, back then in the 1980s, uh, nowadays you are the rich countries, so you are claimed the copyright law is a, uh, so uh, we can be uh, so uh, the criticized. So uh, always uh, as a law professors, copyright the law professor in Korea, I try to have a balanced ideas. Otherwise, uh, um, my the, you know the uh, claim or the, my argument or my theory uh, will be just you know the uh, in vain or the criticized and the, the other perspectives. Okay, uh, it's a basic ideas, um, maybe all of the countries. Idea itself is not protected. So um, plagiarism, plagiarized idea will not be protected. Maybe idea can be protected, you know, a pattern law, but uh, in copyright law, we always, um, you know, track down in the expression of ideas. So the, that's why the, uh, in the United States, it's a, you know, idea uh, and uh, expression dichotomy. 
So um, based on the uh, US case law and the Korean case law, uh, we can uh, definitely say, um, you know, cartel law in general, you know, globally, uh, we don't protect idea itself. We just to protect, you know, expression of uh, human beings' ideas. So the, you know, maybe your the conception, uh, the, the ideas are similar. Maybe the, we can, so many uh, similar uh, reaction videos or the uh, video uh, in, uh, on YouTube, uh, like, you know, the uh, balance game like that. But the contents, the expression uh, of the, you know, the contents is totally different. Um, you know, uh, showing the different, you know, the characters or different uh, figures or the different, you know, the persons. So the idea itself is not protected. Also, um, based on the merge doctrine, uh, there is only, uh, you know, few expressions to, uh, you know, the, uh, express uh, ideas, representing ideas, uh, like the you know, raining, you know, pouring, raining, something like that. It's a very short sentence. Uh, based on uh, uh, the merge doctrine, those expression will not be protected, even though it's an expression, but it's too short. It's a too, maybe the uh, too, too uh, what is it? In cliche, so it will not be protected. Also, see, uh, based on the sins of fear doctrine, um, the sins of fear of the drama um, or the uh, episode, they will not be protected. It's not a copy copyright. So, this, uh, uh, you know the uh, this you know the uh, movie Kingsman's case. Actually, the uh, director of Kingsman, he uh, just you know the confessed that uh, I got uh, I borrowed the expression of the uh, what it was the lines I'm here and you are there in Korean. Is a nayogi ko no kudisa. It means it's a, I'm here and you are there. It's very short. So um, it is. Uh, uh, um, he just you know the watch the you know the uh, play you know the uh, a musical play. It, it is called uh, E. He just about the this line. He's uh, impressed by he's touched the uh, by the these lines and then uh, he used it, but. Problem is the director of the that play actually he copied another play, so the original uh, author of the play just uh, you know sued them, uh, just uh, you know the for the uh, what is it uh, prohibition of the uh, release of the this movie, and but uh, uh, the, the Korean the high court said um, this is too short. Uh, this is not a copyright wall. So basically anybody can use it like that. Uh, another thing, maybe the, uh, you need to just figure out uh, economic rights in copyright works um, uh, need to be uh, distinguished from the, you know, the ownership right of the copyright works itself. So actually, in English, it is a very difficult to express what is the uh, ownership uh, of the copyright works. But in, we translated the ownership uh, of the uh, copyright work uh, into Korean. Actually, it means the ownership of tangible uh, materials, not the copyright works. So maybe the, in Korean, is, uh, it became the big, uh, but in, uh, in English, it's uh, clear. Uh, clear cut the you know, distinction between the economic right of the copyright works and the you know the ownership of a, you know tangible materials embodying uh, copyright works. Uh, basically, the uh, the ownership of the you know uh, the copyright the you know the, the ownership of the tangible materials embodying the you know uh, copyright works. It's a best thing in the what is the movable you know or the immovables, uh, like, you know, this one. 
the can uh, or the these bottles, it is dependable on materials. So I can show you uh, this, you know, the uh, uh, opinions. Uh, it is owned by the uh, Kenny University in uh, Tokyo, uh, Japan. Uh, it is, uh, uh, you know, painted by the Korean, uh, you know, uh, artist of the Joseon Dynasty. Uh, actually, the uh, near to you know the uh, where I'm staying is that there's a inner mountain. Actually, there the Seoul is uh, surrounded the uh, big four mountains, inner circle uh, of the four mountains, outer circle, outer circle of four mountains. One of them is the uh, inner mountain. Uh, the near the inner mountain, there is a it's called is uh, some kind of the uh, a traditional house called the Jumbuke one. And then the, I think one of the uh, uh, princess in the Joseon dynasty, he uh, had a dream of the, these uh, pictures. And uh, the artist that drew this uh, painting, uh, and uh, actually the, the princess, uh, the prince uh, asked him uh, whether I can be a future king. Actually, uh, uh, he assassinated by the hit of his brother, and his brother came uh, become the you know uh, Sejo, and uh, the, I think the, he's the biggest king uh, of uh, the Joseon Dynasty. Anyway, the uh, is very uh, important opinion in Korea, uh, but uh, somehow I don't know if it's a looted or not, a stolen or not. I don't know. But it is uh, in the located in the it found in the uh, Tokyo, in the Tenney University. So the uh, Koreans are eager to have you know the uh, displayed in the museum galleries in Korea. But the uh, Tenney University just uh, you know um, uh, asked demanded the Korean the museum uh, not to uh, make any uh, pamphlet or the other some kind of the posters. Otherwise, they cannot, uh, you know, they uh, uh, they just uh, prohibit, you know, the uh, the uh, exhibition of the this, uh, you know, the uh, artistic uh, works. So the Korean museums uh, finally uh, and you know uh, uh, wound up the uh, display the you know the exhibiting uh, this uh, Korean the. A very important uh, uh, painting works without any pamphlet, without any posters. Why is that? Is that you know the uh, what is it? It's not copyrightable at all. It's not a, the uh, nobody has ownership of the you know this uh, copyright works because it is uh, it has passed the last you know the the what is it? the uh, duration of the copyright protection uh, is uh, elapsed. Uh, and uh, we don't have any copy at law in the uh, medieval era. So basically, uh, the, based on the ownership of you know, this tangible object, the Kenny uh, is uh, entitled to claim uh, those rights. So definitely, uh, we can distinguish the copyright and the ownership of the tangible object. Otherwise, uh, we screw up. So I got the several questions regarding types of the uh, copyright works. So uh, some of them just, you know, asking the, uh, what kind of type is uh, of a copyright, but uh, it seems to me, uh, you are not asking about, you know, the uh, types of a copyright. Um, you are asking, but uh, you are asking uh, types of a copyright works. So first question is, uh, how can we avoid the copyright issues on our channel? Reaction video is okay about the, the in, in terms of a, a music video, but uh, if you use the uh, want to upload uh, reaction video the, regarding the, the K drama and the music, uh, you need to uh, check the you know the uh, copyright of the you know the the, uh, the broadcasting companies uh, between among the you know the KBS. Uh, SBS, uh, Ambish, they, there is the uh, there the uh, what is the free use contract among them, but the, um, for the maximum 
three minutes of uh, you know the, their uh, dramas and uh, their movies. So three minutes among the you know the uh, broadcasting companies. So in other words, uh, um, uh, so maybe the, unless you use the you know the uh, trailers or the teasers. Uh, based on the movie or the K, uh, K drama, uh, it's okay. But uh, if you the, the substantial portion or the uh, whole portion of the uh, episodes, it's going you're gonna you're gonna be automatically sued by the KBS and SBS and uh, you know MBH. But uh, uh, Mr. Sunshine is a very famous uh, the K uh, drama. Uh, released by the uh, what is it CJENM? So CJENM is a very uh, wise, you know. They just you know excerpt some portion of the you know the uh, the K drama episode, the, the, you know, the, such as the Mr. Sunshine. They just uploaded you know uh, those portion uh, on the YouTube, so you can just react to the you know those you know the. Uh, uh, contents uh, uh, because the, you know the, there's the, the contract between the you know the free release contract between the you know the CA ENM and uh, uh, YouTube, but the normally in the uh, regarding contents uh, released by the published by the you know the KBS and MBG SBS, uh, if you react to uh, those videos. And uh, maybe they, uh, you can automatically sort of the legal team of KBS, SBS, and MBC. So you should be cautious. It's a kind of funny thing. I only think is that um, uh, I'm the big fan of uh, uh, BTS, and uh, I'm, I can react to the you know the BTS uh, uh, music video, and I got uh, the you know the autograph of the you know the Love Yourself uh, CD. So uh, I'm uh, very proud of you know. And so I think you know, almost I think five years ago, six years ago, and uh, as soon as they just uh, uh, make a group, I uh, became the big fan of the uh, you know the BTS. So I pick up the you know uh, two groups. One is the uh, uh, the BTS, the other is the Blackpink's back then. So uh, I have a the, the very the psychic mind. Um, but I just talk about you know the how to get the you know the autograph uh, from them, and I talk to the you know the high official of the uh, Minister of Culture, uh, Sports and Tourism, and uh, he is the uh, senior of uh, you know the alma mater. Uh, it's called the, the Seoul National University. Uh, who uh, the, what is the, the director, the owner of the uh, uh, big entertainment. Uh, is a graduate from the Seoul National University. He's a very close friend of the, you know, uh, the, uh, the owner of the uh, Big Hit Entertainment. So I asked him uh, to get a, the you know, autograph of the uh, BTS, but uh, he said, ah, you, you know, those guys are not famous. But nowadays, he cannot get any uh, autograph. But uh, I got the you know, autograph of the uh, BTS. So uh, I'm really happy. So the, the other question is, uh, who can we do if we make a narration videos? Um, um, so I already answered and uh, uh, these questions. And uh, the other question is uh, how copyright claim works. Um, usually the uh, copyright owners, maybe the, uh, regarding the uh, TV uh, episode, and the broadcasting company, actually they're the uh, holder of a neighboring right. They will sue you know, the, uh, uh, the uh, user, the YouTubers directly. Uh, also they just you know, they, uh, uh, informed YouTube to, uh, to take down those unloaded materials. But uh, actually, YouTube, uh, the main server of the YouTube is uh, located in the United States and the several other countries, not in Korea. Um, so the even the Google has the uh, you know subsidiary, not subsidiary uh, in Japan, but uh, Google does not have a subsidiary in Korea. 
So big, uh, based on that, uh, you know, copyright owners uh, want to uh, sue the users located in the uh, foreign country. So based on the Korean law, they can do that, but, get, but uh, um, maybe it, uh, it's not uh, you know, effective because the uh, users is located in the you know, foreign countries. Um, how to you know, enforce uh, the judgment of the Korean courts? That this is a very difficult. What is the effective way? Maybe the, uh, by the using the you know, Korean the copyright protection agency, uh, or the, maybe the, just the informing the you know, uh, YouTube directly uh, uh, that uh, those contents are pirated like that. So maybe the YouTube just uh, you know, take down those unloaded materials. That's going to be a very effective way to um, just clean up the, you know, the, those uh, pirated works. Uh, how can uh, it affect the, the YouTube channel? It, I don't have any YouTube channel. Okay, all of we have the YouTube channels. You know how to deal with those YouTube channels. Uh, so uh, if you got uh, the copyright claims, maybe you just uh, take down very uh, immediately without any purdue. So um, and then the, maybe the as the, the uh, creator of a secondary works, you know, like you, uh, you can protect your the contents, not violating any. Um, you know, the copyright law of others. So, uh, according to the article four of the uh, uh, Korean copyright law, there is the, uh, some the illustrative of the copyright works. Um, first, the literary works, and the second, the musical works, and the uh, third is the uh, theatrical works, and the, the, uh, the fourth is uh, paintings. Artistic works. Uh, fifth is uh, architectural works. And the sixth is photographic works. And the seventh is cinematographic works, is, uh, such as the drama, uh, episode, and movie, animation, uh, games. Uh, eight is uh, uh, diagramic uh, uh, works. The seventh is computer uh, program works, uh, such as the, um, including the, the software. So those are the, uh, the illustrative list of the uh, copyright works. Uh, mainly, I think, the, uh, based on the, your uh, questions, actually, you are the, uh, interested in the, how to avoid the you know, copyright issues uh, in terms of a cinematographic works, um, the musical works. However, you should uh, it should be noted. You have to have the some um, you know the uh, the attention uh, to the the captions, subtitles. Some subtitles uh, are protected as the computer program works. It's a kind of the uh, type paste files. Even though they are not uh, protected as the, the design of the type of face uh, is not protected as a literary works, they can be protected as a computer program works. So, uh, as, as uh, when you used, you know, the uh, Korean subtitles, maybe uh, hopefully you can use the uh, free captions, you know, or the. Uh, you know, the, there is so many, uh, you know, the uh, captions or the subtitles and the uh, typefaces uh, uh, for, uh, which are the uh, free of charge. So, uh, design for typeface as a little works is not copyright. Maybe some countries is protected um, uh, under the copyright law, but in Korea, we don't uh, protect, afford any protection on design for the typeface. Um, but it, it can be protected. It can be protected on the Design Protection Act uh, um, um, following the, you know, the, uh, the application of the design, uh, you know, the uh, protection. However, uh, typeface files is uh, protected as 
uh, computer programmers. So when you download it, uh, typeface files, you need to check. You need to check whether those uh, typeface file is a copyrightable or not. Otherwise, uh, you can have a, a big problem. There are some cases in Korea. So downloading the typeface files without authorization or permission of the copyright holders or the hold of neighboring rights, and definitely it is an infringement of the reproduction right of the copyright holders or the hold of the neighboring rights. And how about the unloading typeface file without authorization? Uh, or the permission of the uh, copyright holder or the holder of the neighboring rights. Um, it is an uh, infringement of the right of transmission to the public, the public transmission, the right of the copyright holder of a, or a holder of neighboring rights. However, captioning by using copyright type uh, face uh, files is now prohibited as a literary works. Um, as I mentioned, the typeface file itself is a uh, little protected as computer program uh, works. So the maybe the download and you know uh, the typeface files at home is a kind of the uh, personal use uh, exceptions. Uh, you you're not violating any laws. So actually, um, whenever you just uh, downloaded music and the drama, uh, other just uh, kind of the uh, screenshots at home, no problem at all. It's uh, the, you know, uh, it is a uh, personal use exceptions. However, um, maybe you have to unload, if you unload those kind of files and the, uh, you know, the movies and the, uh, you know, the, uh, music video is okay and the other screenshots images uh, you need to take care of the you know uh, to take into account the copyright issues okay uh, I'm just a, this is a you know design for the typeface case uh, based on the you know this case uh, the Korean Supreme Court uh, uh, just you know the uh, held that designed for the typeface uh, is not copyrightable. This is the, the case. Okay, uh, so in Korea uh, is uh, um, the five minutes, uh, five uh, to 12. Uh, so we have, uh, we'll have a 10, uh, 10 minutes of breaks and uh, I will just, you know, come back after 10 minutes. Okay, see you then. So, I'm back. As I have uh, the, uh, two questions uh, uh, during the you know the uh, break. Uh, one question is, uh, what if we, uh, you know the uh, we mentioned the source of the uh, copyright works? So the, it doesn't uh, uh, you know the uh, exempt uh, you uh, from the you know the. Uh, violating the uh, you know the uh, copyrighted source, so maybe there is a kind of the requirements uh, you know the uh, for the if you use the you know, the uh, you know, copyright works of the others uh, uh, based on the Article Twenty Eight of the copy, uh, Korean Copyright Law, maybe it's a kind of free use doctrines. Um, but in in this in this in this case, uh, you need to uh, indicate the source of the copyright works. Definitely, it is a one requirement. But uh, it is not the the whole requirements. It doesn't represent the whole requirements of the uh, copyright, uh, uh, you know, uh, limitations. So uh, another question is uh, uh, living outside of Korea, and uh, may have the uh, whether the uh, foreigners can uh, may have the copyright problem uh, uh, when they use the trail of the series or the songs. Uh, definitely yes. So uh, as long as the uh, it is released and the you know unloaded uh, you know YouTube and uh, uh, maybe in in Korean. Uh, so it even has a subtitles Korean uh, subtitles. 
uh, definitely it has a uh, effective uh, you know in Korea so the uh, Korean copyright holders uh, may claim that they are you know invoke the uh, copyright uh, to the YouTube or the uh, you know the K influencers so you need be, uh, you need to be very cautious okay 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 uh, I have uh, another question so the, how to avoid the copyright of the reaction videos and uh, another question is uh, can I use part of the other videos in my videos uh, if I make a reaction videos can I show the full original video on, on my videos so this is the, my answers uh, uploading an episode of the TV program or the uh, you know, making a reaction video about the episode. Teasers or trailers um, is a, a free to use. Uh, uh, it can be, you know, the fair use. Uh, there's a, the one the, uh, case law uh, in the reaction videos is a, a definitely a fair use. Uh, so uh, the, um, it's not a, you know, the, the, uh, is a subject to the copyright protections. Uh, how about uh, showing a part or a full version of the episode? It's a kind of virus. It's a piracy of the you know copyright works. So in this case, uh, uh, you know, please check the contract uh, between the Korean broadcasting company and YouTube. So as I mentioned, if the CJDNN has a contract, uh, you know, with uh, YouTube uh, to freely uh, release uh, some portion of the, you know, the uh, those the episode uh, just developed by the the, the, the CJENM. But uh, uh, the major the broadcasting companies such as the KBS, SBS, MBS, uh, they're the kind of the, uh, the inside, you know, the legal team to automatically uh, invoke, you know, copyright claim, uh, you know, to uh, YouTubers. So, as I mentioned, you know, the, in terms of maximum uh, three minute long contents, there, there's a, a free use contract among the three broadcasting companies. Uh, those are the KBS, SBS, and Dish. But, uh, you know, as uh, the K influencers, um, I, I want to just advise you uh, not to use the, you know, the, uh, the contents of the uh, released by the KBS, SBS, MISH. So, but how about the, you know, TVN or the uh, other channels? Um, unless you can uh, have a, uh, you know, the, uh, you have the, you know, uh, the confident, that there is a, some kind of contract between the you know those companies and YouTube. Um, hopefully, the you know the uh, you cannot use the, those contents. How about the uh, music videos? Making the reaction videos on the uh, music video, uploaded on YouTube, like you know BTS or the uh, Card and the Blackpink and the, the Aspa like that. Uh, there is a, a definitely, you know, a, a contract, free use contract between the uh, CONCA. Uh, as I mentioned, the 97% of the uh, music authors are the members of the CONCA, Korean the Music Copyright Associations. Uh, it's a collecting, uh, a collective management uh, organizations. CONCA and uh, YouTube, uh, there's a contract a free use country on the uh, April 18, uh, 2010, to make the YouTubers to use Conca administers the repertoires freely. So normally you don't have any problem either, you know, the, uh, have the reaction videos uh, 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 regarding the, you know, the Korean K-pop. How about the, uh, you know, no making reaction video on the music video uploaded the other SNS service. So it's also the, it can be categorized as the fair use. You don't have any uh, copyright issues. Okay, I have uh, several questions. 
you know, the regarding the types of copyrighted works, uh, especially the music. Uh, first questions. Uh, yes, I'm struggling with the shooting outdoor and the getting copyrighted claim ones. Uh, furthermore, I uh, also like to have uh, my video with the Korean song as a background, how to solve these issues. Uh, so maybe the, the song, uh, if the, uh, the song is uh, a repertoire of the Konka, you don't have any copyright issues, You're right? But uh, uh, please check uh, those, you know, the uh, synchronized music released uh, by the music uh, publishers uh, who are the member of a Koskap, K-O-S-C-A-P, Koskap. Koskap is only represented 3% uh, of the uh, music uh, publishers and uh, music authors. So uh, basically this, you know, Koskap is very poor uh, symbols. The Koska uh, is a very rich, you know, the uh, CMOs in Asia. I think the number one, uh, the uh, music CMOs in Asia is uh, uh, Jasra in the in Japan. And number two is Konka in the Asia. So basically, Konka is uh, uh, generous uh, for the K influence to uh, freely use, the, you know, the uh, music video. Uh, on the YouTube uh, by making the erasure videos, it's okay. But um, I think the very rare in um, unpopular uh, synchronized music, uh, you know, the, uh, which are the uh, repertoire of a cost cap, you will have the issues. So my recommendation is if you want to, you know, use the background musics, for your the music videos, it, hopefully you can use the famous songs, not the you know unpopular songs. Don't chase unpopular Korean K-pop. Uh, the next question is: oh, We know the music is copyrighted, but the, what about the vlogs or just the TV shows? Uh, is it better to avoid anything altogether or just to use the samples? Okay, there's uh, the contract. Free use contract between the uh, Konka and YouTube. How about the vlogs, TV shows? Um, uh, vlogs is a copyrightable. TV show is a copyrightable. So uh, hopefully uh, you can use this. Uh, what is it? Trailers, uh, you know, uh, samples or the teasers, uh, unmoded by the you know, the broadcasting company was the individuals. Otherwise you have the copyright issues, except in you know, music, okay? The next question is, uh, if reducing cover cannot play instrument by outside ourselves, or well, what should we do avoid the copyright? Song cover is okay. Okay, uh, with the, you know, the Konka music authors in Korea, but uh, there is a kind of the uh, samples representing uh, performers, such as the, you know, the uh, kind of the composer, the, what is it, uh, the conductor, uh, music conductor, or uh, the instrument, the music instrument, the players, or the singers. And uh, they just uh, they have the uh, as a performance they have their neighboring rights, and the broadcasting can, uh, company has the uh, uh, neighboring right uh, to release the, you know the uh, publishing the, those you know the uh, songs in the TV shows, uh, and the, uh, the music phonograph uh, producers uh, such as the. Um, Big Hit Entertainment, uh, SM um, Entertainment, and uh, uh, YG, and uh, the, what is um, uh, the, the, rep, the companies that they uh, represented by the, you know, the Park uh, Jin Young, and the, uh, yeah, so those are the big four, uh, the 
music uh, entertainment uh, companies. And those are the music producers. So uh, those companies, they have their, uh, their neighboring rights. So the, if you have a, a, a song cover, and still uh, you use the uh, uh, background, you know, musics, uh, the represented by the, 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 the organization of the neighboring right, you, you need to figure out, uh, uh, so, but uh, figure out it is, you know, uh, protected by the neighboring right. But uh, um, I can say, uh, it's just safe to say, uh, as, as long as it is uh, reaction videos, uh, is a, as a fair use, uh, you're not violating the Korean copyright law. And if we use the uh, music from copyrighted music, example, for example, our K-pop idol songs, is there any max length uh, that we can avoid to be copyrighted? Uh, so actually, the, uh, a few years ago, uh, the uh, the KCC, uh, rep, the, what is it, stands for the Korea Copyright Commission, uh, try, try to, uh, you know, to sum up the guidelines uh, for the fair use. But uh, um, there's uh, so many uh, stakes uh, among, the, you know, the uh, uh, right holders and users that they very big conflict. Uh, even though it's a guideline, guideline is just a guideline. Uh, is that a law? So uh, there is not a uh, max length. The, the, there is no clear cut rules. It depends on the situations, so case by case. Uh, next question is: I want to know if uh, uh, the how can I remove the copyright in the song cover? or dance cover, and also a video compilation. Uh, normally, the music, uh, the, the, in terms of the song cover and the reaction video, the, you don't have any uh, problem with the, you know, the copyright issues, uh, neighboring uh, right issues. It, it can be used as a, a fair use. But TV program and the movie, you should be very cautious. Um, so hopefully, just to react to the you know the uh, uh, you know the whole story episode without showing you know the uh, the portion other than the trailers or uh, the teasers. Otherwise, uh, you can be sued by the Korean uh, broadcasting companies. Um, you have, maybe the uh, if you are diligent enough. You know, uh, to check, the, you know, the contract between the broadcasting company and the YouTube, maybe you, know, you can avoid, you know, copyright issues. But otherwise, normally, um, you will have the copyright issues. So uh, hopefully, uh, you can remove, the, you know, uh, those contents uh, from the, you know, the uh, your YouTube channel. So next question is how to prevent. Uh, copyright problem when uh, doing copyright songs of uh, other favorite artists. Um, so unless you just you know cover the song, I think uh, you know definitely. Uh, I bet you the uh, you are the uh, good singers, so you don't have any uh, you don't violate you know moral right of the artist. You're okay, but uh, you are the very poor singer. Definitely, you're destroying the you know the moral right of a performers. So it's not my song like that. So in that case, maybe the uh, singers, as a, the holder of a neighboring right, they can sue you. Uh, it's not my song. Like the so Hyang, don't sing a song. So Hyang, it's a it's high pitched song. So you cannot just follow the, you know uh, those kind of songs. Is there any way for me to make a, a process easier? Um, I don't know. So I, I didn't make any the YouTube you know channel. So uh, maybe the uh, you can just a reaction video. Reaction videos is very easy. Maybe the vlog you can just make a vlog. It's a it's a travel contents. It's gonna be very okay. 
So some of you know the uh, questions uh, you raised actually the overlapping uh, with uh, uh, one another. So I just skipped those part. Uh, the question, next question is how to know that some music has a copyright. Every uh, music has the copyright. So except maybe you can just you know the uh, check you know the. Uh, a Korean Copyright Commission uh, in the website, there's a, a what is it? Free songs uh, donated by the you know artist or the free song uh, just which you know the uh, you know the surpassed you know the uh, copyright the term of a copyright protection. Um, those songs uh, will be freely used. So. Um, it's much easier for you to check a uh, free song in the free uh, music site. So uh, other than that, every music has a copyright. And the question is, next question, can we use just the song, seconds of song? Um, uh, it, uh, you know, it depends on the situations. Maybe you uh, um, uh, you want to criticize the song, whereas uh, you just evaluate the song. You talk very, you, sh you should be talkative. In that case, uh, definitely it is an exemption uh, based on the Article 28 of the kind of citation of, a, you know, uh, what is it? Uh, disclosed, you know, copyrighted works. So based on the, you know, Article 28, you don't have any problem. It's a, it's a free use. However, in that case, you need to, you know, indicate the source. Also, you should be talkative. Maybe you just, uh, uh, you know, too, uh, became the too emotional. Uh, you just say speechless, speechless. You you can be, you know, speechless when the, you know, the copyright author to sue you, right? So, uh, can we use the another sites of photo videos if we write the source? Oh, actually, the photo um, it depends on. Uh, it's a free photo. It's okay, but um, it's copyrighted or photo images. Actually, uh, you just kind of the uh, what is it? Uh, use the smaller size of the original version of the uh, photo. So uh, otherwise, it, it can be you know the uh, the uh, free use exceptions. But uh, uh, if you just you know ex extend in the uh, the uh, psyche the photo the original size, it's a, uh, actually. Uh, Unless it is blurry, um, you can be sued. So, uh, if you would want to use the original uh, photos, I, I, my recommendation is uh, going to the you know uh, to the Wikipedia. Many uh, free image site, the, the free images or the public domain uh, images. Also, uh, the Wikipedia uh, show you. Uh, how to use the you know copyrighted uh, photographs uh, based on the uh, the certain uh, conditions. So actually, I downloaded downloaded uh, many uh, photos. Also, whenever I travel to you know foreign countries, I uh, took uh, so many photos. So I used them on my own. Um, uh, this uh, that's why the travel contents is a very important. To, to what is a very useful for the you know uh, the the key influencers. But the, nowadays you cannot come to the Korea uh, the, under the you know uh, you know Corona pandemic. So also I cannot you know come, uh, uh, go to the foreign countries. It's a kind of the I feel sad. So maybe we can the, you know the make uh, some condolence you know the reaction videos for ourselves. Otherwise we can be just uh, crazy in the near future. So uh, next question is. Why do Korean uh, bright shows use any songs? No problem. Actually, the KBS, MBC, and SBS has the lump sum contract to freely use, uh, not freely use, uh, 
uh, used the, the uh, conquer uh, songs uh, with the conquer. So uh, that's why I think almost like uh, uh, for, uh, 30, uh, 30 billion dollars altogether, they just uh, pay, uh, you know, the uh, uh, loyalty uh, over the uh, 30 million dollars to conquer annually. So that's why they don't have any problem. They pay the royalty uh, to Konka. So Konka distributed, you know, uh, those, you know, the royalty to the uh, artist, music artist. Is there any way uh, to use the TV show clips, to use the uh, trailers and uh, teasers for the video purposes without getting uh, copyrighted? So next question is uh, how to manage the claim ID for background song. Uh, there's a many uh, background songs. So um, for this, you know, classes, I look up to the several, the, you know, the uh, K-pop, the, uh, the, what is it, some size for the, uh, you know, the uh, K-influencers. Maybe some of you, maybe I saw you, maybe I watch you, the, uh, you know, the YouTube channels. And they, whether the, it is, a, you know, the, uh, uh, your channels are the, you know, the violated in, uh, copyright, Korean copyright law. And uh, the, I, uh, very interesting uh, points I discovered uh, from the YouTube channels of the K-Influence. There are so many identical, similar, you know, the background songs. Mm -hmm. ah, why is the song is so similar? Because it is a freely used songs on the background songs. So, uh, there's a kind of, you know, the uh, funny uh, things I discovered from the uh, YouTube channels. Uh, so you can use the, you know, background songs uh, released by the, you know, copyright authors uh, for the free uh, uh, use. But uh, maybe the, you can use the background songs, uh, which are the repertoire of the conca. Uh, uh, you don't have any issues unless uh, you can uh, have the uh, problem with the you know, uh, hold of neighboring rights. Uh, next question is how to use other uh, productions when the recording reactions. Uh, um, for the you know, in terms of the uh, music is okay, and the uh, movie or the episode the drama. Um, you need to be very cautious. So if you use the trailers or the other the teachers, it's, it's going to be okay. So uh, these the, uh, the some uh, uh, informations you can get the uh, you know the, the background musics and the, it, it's uh, regarding the YouTube channel. So for you to have uh, you know the uh, free the background musics. As I mentioned, is uh, there, there is a contract, free use contract between the Conca and YouTube on the 2010 and to make a YouTuber, you know, uh, to use the Conca and the Raptors freely. So as long as you use the, uh, the, those musics for the, your background uh, musics, uh, you don't have any uh, issues. Just avoid the 3% of the background music administers the cost cap, not the compact. Yeah. Uh, there's many the uh, free background musics uh, for the you know uh, uh, video uh, uh, BJs uh, for the Africa TV YouTubers or the other SNS services. So this article is a very important. In the article 35 here of the Korean copyright law uh, prescribes that in the event that the works seen or heard in the course of a, a photographing, sound recording, or the video recording are incidentally included the main object of photographing, uh, etc., they can be freely reproduced, distributed, publicly performed displayed or transmitted to the public, 
However, it shall not be applied the case unreasonably harming the interest of a holder of the economic right in light of the type and usage of the used work, uh, the purpose and nature of the use, etc. Uh, so, uh, if I, uh, if, uh, whenever I watched you know, the uh, some the vlog and uh, uh, some kind of the uh, what is it uh, travel. Um, Contents uploaded on YouTube. Uh, some uh, YouTubers actually uh, uh, sat on the cafe or the coffee shops and uh, kind of they they are the explain the how to you know travel this place like that. But in that coffee shop, actually uh, we can hear some uh, musics. Uh, what is the yeah, of the coffee shops. In that case, um, is it copyrightable or not? It's copyrightable, definitely. But um, uh, you don't have any copyright issues based on instantal reproduction. Don't uh, just you know appreciate the music uh, at the coffee shop too much. In that case, what is the main object of the uh, some kind of the uh, reproduction music. So as long as the, you just you know uh, sit under the coffee shop, just uh, focused on uh, your discussions, talks uh, with your uh, colleagues or friends. So uh, as far as you are the, the concentrate of your the, the, you know the conversation with the, you know your friends, you don't have any copyright issues. Don't take the photo of the uh, uh, artistic work uh, put under the you know wall of the coffee shop it's a copyright wall it's uh, outside you know the, the uh, building you take the you know uh, um, supposed that you take the photo of the statue or the some kind of artistic work or the uh, the buildings uh, beautiful buildings um, it's go okay however you just go inside and uh, take a photo of the, you know, the uh, artistic work put on the wall of the coffee shop. It's an interior building and uh, you'll have the copyright issues. So just uh, enjoy your the meal and the conversation with your friends. You're gonna be okay, okay? So how about the music, so the restaurants, hotels, other places? Definitely, it is uh, subject to the you know Article Thirty Five Care of the Korean Copyright Law. Uh, it's a uh, very similar uh, uh, provisions in the Japan, and uh, definitely in the uh, United States, uh, it can be categorized you know uh, pre-use uh, exceptions. So uh, you don't have any copyright issues unless you're just uh, focused on the you know uh, the taking photo of the uh, the images or the artistic paintings uh, put under the wall of the, you know, the coffee shops. So how to, uh, you know, freely uh, use the images um, is, uh, uh, or is it released on the online. Uh, think about the uh, several uh, avoided copyright issues, just to, uh, look up to the, you know, the Creative Commons license. If you visit you know, uh, Creative Commons Korea and the United States, there are the, so many uh, uh, you know, the Creative Commons license uh, based on the, uh, each jurisdiction. Also, uh, Kogo, uh, Korea Open Government License. So the uh, you can uh, visit you know the uh, culture of photo uh, managed the, the, the managed by the Korean government. There are so many uh, the Korea uh, Korean images and uh, there was a, the images of Korean the tourist spot like in the, the Gyeongbok Palace and the Changdeok Palace, other the Gangnamun Gate and the, such like that. So many beautiful uh, the images. Um, so actually, they can be used, uh, freely used by the you know the uh, 
you know, the foreigners and the K influencers uh, based on the COCO, the Korea Open Government License. There are so many free images. Also, uh, free images uh, uh, administered by the Korea Copyright Commission. So the bunch of them. So how about the using uh, screenshots of the video conferences? Um, it, it has a um, it has not the something to do with the, uh, the copyright law issues. It has a something to do with uh, these issues. So normally, I I don't uh, record uh, my uh, the Zoom class uh, uh, because the I just uh, you know the in advance I explained. Uh, the my uh, students, uh, I'm not gonna be uh, recorded my class uh, teaching uh, because uh, uh, if I just you know recorded my class, it's uh, it's gonna be violate the portrait right of the you know the my students. Uh, also, maybe it uh, uh, it can be maybe the uh, if I use the Socratic uh, method. Uh, we need to have the discussions uh, with the students, maybe uh, q and sessions like that. In this sense, uh, students have the uh, copyright on their discussions. Uh, another thing is they they have the voice right. So if I recorded, uh, you know, the uh, those, you know, the uh, the, the uh, class teaching, uh, you know, the it's gonna be a violation of the uh, portrait right, voice right, or the copyright of the our students. So I don't wanna violate the, any of them. Um, so, uh, so there's a, some, uh, what is it? Uh, case law uh, rendered by the law, you know, court of the Korea. Uh, it is a, a, a held that, the day held that the, uh, it is a, a, it classified as tort uh, based on the Korean Civil Code. Actually, they, they, under the uh, Korean Civil Code, there is a, um, the, it doesn't have the explicit provisions of the, you know, the portrait right, the voice right, and the and, and main right of uh, other, the moral right of the others. Um, but uh, based on Korean constitutions, uh, each individual has to enjoy their privacy. Uh, the, their freedom of privacy, also the freedom of the uh, what is it, develop their the you know the uh, personality. So uh, it is uh, the uh, subject to the mental damage. It's a very low. However, anyway, uh, it can be sued. So I don't want to use uh, those contents. So that's why the, I uh, explained you know uh, the my students. I don't I don't want to record. Also, also, when I record in the, you know, Zoom, uh, the, my class teaching based on the Zoom, another, there is another issue. Uh, so when I have the conversation with the, uh, the uh, uh, Fogo, uh, the professor Fogo at the Vienna University, he's uh, the uh, law professor in the, uh, the Vienna University in the Austria, uh, I was invited as a guest teacher uh, for his class. Uh, we had a conversation, but he asked me uh, whether uh, what kind of program I used for the you know the uh, online teaching. So I said Zoom. Uh, actually, he was just uh, shocked by the uh, my answer because they, in Austria, uh, in, in Europe, uh, based on the GDPR, it's kind of the uh, uh, the regulate EU regulation protecting uh, personal information. Uh, based on the GDPR, each uh, educational institution need to develop their own uh, its a, its own the, you know the software for the you know online teaching to protect you know privacy the you know the personal information. But in Korea. We are always, you know, kind of the uh, based on the, you know, hurry, hurry, and the, you know, bali, bali, you know, culture. Uh, we just kind of used, okay, just do it, and uh, we are really, uh, uh, you know, rush to use the Zoom. We never thought about, you know, the copyright issues and the personal uh, right issues, and then I raised these issues last year. 
And uh, when I recorded my class teaching, um, I have uh, two options. Just you know, the uh, store, you know, those with the recorded uh, contents in my computer, on my computer. The other option is uh, recorded, you know, the uh, contents on Zoom server. That's the issue. Normally, uh, teachers do not want to, you know, the uh, you know the uh, store uh, the class teaching uh, contents on their server. Uh, their computers because they you know uh, the story is you know the uh, space like that they're considering they don't want they just uh, serve the what is the use the you know the uh, uh, options to uh what is it store the the recorded uh, contents on zoom server zoom server actually zoom is a uh, uh, private company they can have uh, access to the uh class teaching. So in that sense, there uh, uh, is not the subject of class teaching exceptions uh, for the free uh, use. Also, another thing is that they can uh, look up to the you know, uh, personal information of the uh, students and the, uh, the portrait. So uh, it's a very dangerous. So I uh, uh, reluctant to uh, record my class teaching, that's why. So we think about the portrait, right? The voice, right? The name, right? So when you just you know the uh, use the uh, uh, add the uh, music video or or, or the you know the uh, YouTube contents of uh, another's, you should uh, uh, check uh, whether you violate portrait right, voice right, name, right of other the K influencers. So maybe uh, you need the permission uh, from the other K influencers, other YouTubers. Otherwise, uh, you don't react to other uh, to, to K influencers or uh, music, the, what is it, the, uh, uh, YouTube channel. So uh, one, another question is, uh, uh, so the, uh, in my last video, I put the short film uh, of a trailer and the YouTuber, YouTuber marked it as a copyright. So uh, this is the question. Uh, trailer or the, actually the YouTube has the very the conservative, uh, uh, you know, positions. Whenever some of the copyright owner just, uh, you know, uh, inform the you know, YouTube, they just uh, mark it as a copyright. So if you have the issue uh, about co uh, co copyright issues, uh, you need to uh, contact uh, the uh, broadcasting companies or the, the author of the uh, you know, uh, copyright, uh, the copyright works. Uh, so ask the permission. Uh, so, but normally uh, trailers and the teasers is, uh, uh, is, uh, uh, can be used, freely used. Uh, by the, the for the reaction video, not the you know just the, uh, the trailers is a, a big. Your the uh, face is very small. In that case, you can have the uh, uh, some copyright issues. So uh, you cannot uh, we cannot use the pictures from the Google or the uh, uh, Pinterest. Uh, definitely uh, no. So uh, there's so many uh, free use uh, of the images uh, released by the uh, each government. Actually, the Korean government uh, released so many uh, free images for the uh, key influencers. So hopefully, you can use the you know the, uh, uh, the cover. So another uh, uh, provision is uh, uh, Article Seven of the Korean law. Korean copy law, uh, constitution, the law, treaties, decrees, uh, uh, ordinance, and the rules, and uh, uh, judgment, notice, uh, compilation of uh, the judgment, uh, current news uh, reports, uh, which transmit the simple or text. Uh, those are not the uh, uh, copyrightable uh, uh, objects, uh, copyrighted works. It's not a copyrightable. Uh, why is that? Uh, because the uh, 
uh, those you know the contents uh, created uh, uh, based on the uh, what is it text of uh, Koreans. So basically, for the public purpose, uh, constitutions and laws and treaties uh, decrees is uh, not uh, you know copyrightable. So that's why uh, the, there there is so many uh, lawmakers actually copied they pirate uh, another the lawmakers. So, some uh, uh, raise the issues uh, don't uh, you know uh, make a copy of the, the my uh, bill like that. Oh, another question. What if the, we mentioned the, the source? It doesn't matter. E even though you mentioned the source, um, so the, 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 maybe, so if you just uh, uh, make the smaller size of pictures, like uh, thumbnail images, it's, it's going to be okay. Uh, there is uh, some the huge case, but the, normally uh, you uh, use the thumbnail. Uh, on the YouTube channel, maybe your channel is not going to be popular. <laughs> so, uh, if you, you can use the uh, this is a uh, Yanam News uh, case. Uh, it's about uh, you know the uh, what is the current news reports which transmit the simple facts. So, uh, in terms of the uh, the press newspapers, uh, the. I mean, newspapers, uh, companies, uh, they, uh, they can afford the you know copyright protection on their uh, contents based on the what is it, uh, compilating the compilation of the works. Uh, also, maybe the uh, caricature, uh, maybe the commercials, uh, or the, some kind of the uh, editorials. They can be uh, they can be protected, but uh, uh, current news report based on the facts facts is not protected. So next question: How can we take care of our own copyrights in the content we produce? No formality rules. No formality rules. It's uh, uh, you know the uh, based on the burn conventions. Uh, in the 179 countries, no formality is required. So you don't need to uh, register or you don't uh, the record or the, you don't uh, need to uh, deposit uh, copyrighted works. So copyright shall commence from the time of a complete your work, regardless of the procurement of any procedural formalities. It's a, this, uh, it is called no formality rules. Uh, as soon as you just created your contents, and uh, even though you don't uh, upload your contents, it will be protected, okay? So what kind of a co uh, copyrights we can have? Yeah. There is a property rights. Author will have the property rights and the moral rights. There are so many uh, copyright, uh, what is it? Uh, economic rights. Those are the rights. Uh, what is the right of reproduction, uh, right of public performance, right of public transmission, right of exhibition. Actually, right of public transmission includes uh, broadcasting right, and the right of interactive transmission, right over uh, this type of sonic transmission and the uh, right over exhibition right over distribution right over light to land uh, right over uh, production of uh, directed works um, so it's not a, a, a illustrative list it's a exhaustive list so uh, based on the uh, cultural or technological development I think the uh, divisible uh, right over the author's property rights is uh, expand, right? In, the, um, in uh, European countries, there is a, a right over resale, uh, but in Korea, we don't have. So some, the, uh, maybe except in you know, um, galleries, uh, nobody uh, opposed the adoption of a resale right in Korea, but uh, 
uh, we are the still negotiation uh, or with the European Union countries. So whether uh, we adopt, uh, you know, resale right. So based on the culture and the technological development, there's a, some uh, variance uh, among the, you know, the uh, the uh, the property rights of the uh, the authors in the each uh, jurisdiction. Okay, uh, what is the reproduction? Actually, the as uh, you know, uh, K influences. Uh, normally, uh, you do uh, on daily basis is a reproduction. Where downloading is a reproduction, and the unloading is a, a public transmission. So, if you the uh, use the you know uh, uh, the copyrighted materials by downloading. Uh, or unloading actually is a, a violation of the uh, reproduction right or the, uh, the, uh, right, the right of a public uh, transmission. How about the uh, author's moral right? The, as an author, so actually the, um, I don't uh, want to see the expansion of a uh, author's moral right. So, as a, uh, the author of undeveloped countries, actually, author want to expensive. Uh, what is it? Extensive, you know, the uh, uh, scope of the uh, author's moral right because the uh, author usually uh, the poor author. To uh, make the, some contract uh, of a you know copyright or comprehensive uh, copyright uh, assignment with the publishers. So in that case, the publisher is uh, kind of the uh, whole of the you know uh, the uh, uh, economic rights. And so in that case, authors just they own which right moral rights. So. Uh, in the poor countries, I think the, it's kind of a, uh, some a tendency uh, to uh, uh, extensive, uh, you know, afford the, you know, the uh, extensive uh, tendency uh, to protect moral right and strongly. Uh, that's why I don't like uh, this right because it is kind of the uh, legal obstacles uh, for the, you know, the uh, copyright holders to uh, what is the, the distribute, uh, you know, the copyright works uh, globally. Uh, anyway, authors moralize, uh, some of them is a uh, right to make public, like, you know, diary, the, the, you know, diary, uh, if you just maintain the, the, the uh, personal information in the diary, so they don't uh, need to uh, disclose uh, the, di uh, the diary, it is uh, based on the right to make public. Uh, next one is the right to indicate the, the author's name, attribution right. And uh, the next one is uh, the right to preserve integrity. Uh, I think that this is the most important uh, moral rights. So uh, you uh, make a song cover uh, the, of the K-pop. So maybe the uh, singers uh, as the neighboring uh, right holders, uh, the right to preserve integrity. Also, music composers or the music, uh, uh, what is it, songwriters uh, can have the moral right to uh, preserve the integrity. So uh, that's why the, my advice uh, for you is to just, to, you know, uh, what is it, become a good singer. Otherwise, you can, uh, you can violate, you know, the uh, author's moral right. So, performers uh, has the uh, some uh, property rights and uh, two moral rights. Performance uh, has the right to produce, a right to distribution, right to release, right to perform, right to broadcast, a right to transmit, a right to be remunerated by the broadcasting organizations, so right to be remunerated by the digital audio transmission service providers. 
right to be remunerated by persons uh, performing in public by making use of the commercial phonographs. Also, the performance has moral rights, uh, is the uh, attribution right, and the uh, right to maintain uh, his or her the integrity. But the broadcasting company has uh, only uh, some property rights. Also, phonogram producers has uh, some uh, the property rights. Uh, those, uh, you know, the two uh, the hold of the uh, neighboring rights do not have any uh, moral rights. It's based on the international agreements. So next question is, is there a database from where we can uh, download the copyright free covers adaptation of K-pop songs? Um, database, maybe you can just look up to the, you know, the repertoires of the uh, Comca. This is a good uh, solution. Also, uh, there's uh, so many uh, music videos uh, uploaded by the uh, big four, the music entertainment, uh, you know, the companies. Uh, the uh, next question is, if I have copyright content ID in video, what should I do? But I won't uh, delete the video. Maybe you can contact the uh, uh, copyright holders uh, to, to ask to ask you know, how to use you know, the copyright content ID. This is the first solution. But uh, um, another thing, maybe the make uh, those kind of, I don't know, do you have the reaction video or not? Song cover is okay. Um, so maybe music video, I think uh, in terms of music, maybe I, I, as I I'm, uh, already explained to you, uh, the reaction video is okay. Uh, but uh, I'm not sure what, the, what is the intention the, uh, of the your questions, but um, in terms of the uh, movie and drama, uh, you'll have the copyright issues. Duration, I skip. Anyway, in principle, in South Korea, uh, like in you know, the United States, an author economic right to be uh, to a, a copyrighted work is effective uh, during his or her lifetime and uh, for seven years after his or her death. Uh, when um, the, actually the before uh, prior to adoption of a seventy year duration, uh, uh, we used to have the fifty years uh, durations of uh, copyright protections. When uh, we adopted this uh, long uh, period of copyright duration, uh, uh, right after uh, the uh, cross FTA uh, free trade agreement between the, the Korea and the United States. I think the, uh, in, in that uh, uh, the context, it's the uh, US just uh, set up the, or it's a golden uh, uh, rule for the uh, Asian countries. Uh, the, the Korea, uh, South Korea is the first country uh, to, uh, what is it, uh, adopt, what is it, uh, make a you know, uh, comprehensive free trade agreement with the, uh, you know, the United States in Asian countries. Not after, not right, right after Singapore, but um, uh, I think the uh, I look up to the when I look up to the, you know, the free trade agreement between the uh, uh, the United States and uh, Singapore. I think that the Singapore is a very uh, disadvantageous uh, agreement. Uh, you know, it is definitely is not uh, favorable. Uh, in favor of the, the Singapore is not a mutual uh, you know uh, interest. But uh, the, the uh, free trade agreement between the Korea and the United States is very uh, mutual because uh, uh, in that sense, we, uh, I'm the working outside a consultant for the uh, Korean side. Uh, we uh, uh, have the, some very uh, tough position to maintain our own role. Also, the, we just uh, drastically uh, changed you know, the uh, Korean copy law right after the uh, implementation of the, uh, to, uh, to implement the FTA between the Korea and the, uh, the uh, United States. Also, we had the FTA uh, between the uh, Korea and the EU, so we ratified those law. Sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, okay. How can we get a license of the music you listen to? Okay, license uh, this way. There are so many questions. Uh, so I can show you there, there's uh, some uh, limitations and exceptions to copyright issues. So uh, from the Article 23 to Article uh, uh, 37, so there is uh, limitations and exceptions to copyright protections. But uh, uh, I show you, yeah, some name images, okay. Yeah, based on the uh, Article 28 of the quotations from the uh, works made of public. Let me show you some sites. Yeah, this is the uh, 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 right after the just you know the uh, sh uh, showing uh, some the uh, free use sites, and uh, I wrap up the, my uh, the lectures. KCC opened the website for the free use of the works in public domain on the November 19th, 2012. Also, also the KCC Korean the Copyright Commission entered into the uh, MOU with the Europeana. So you, so you can use the uh, free contents uh, from the Europeana and the Wikipedia. Also, Korea opened the governmental license for the governmental works uh, in 2012. So you can, uh, so there are so many uh, free images uh, from this kind of, uh, the site. Yes, this is one the, uh, one of the uh, images uh, the, uh, released in the from you know the Korean uh, open governmental governmental license. There is a uh, four types of the license that indicate. First of uh, type one, uh, based on the type one, you just indicate source of the uh, the uh, the source of the copyrighted works. Yes, there is a four types of, you know, uh, the Kobo. Uh, so type one, type two, type three, type uh, four. Actually, the uh, uh, in the you know the on the, the Creative Commons license. So also you can have a several uh, types and uh, uh, symbols of the license. So if you, uh, if you use the, uh, those. Uh, indicated those in kind of the, uh, uh, the terms and the conditions, you don't have any copyright issues. Another site is, uh, you know, website run by the Korea Copyright Commissions. This is the, uh, what is it? Uh, indication of a source. Another thing is Creative Commons. Okay. Um, in Korea, there, we have a very uh, interesting uh, uh, the agreement, uh, MOU, uh, between the KCC and the Minister of Justice. Uh, so uh, for the uh, first offender of the criminal copyright infringement, uh, so the, 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 uh, there are the probation, there have the probation on conditional upon the copyright educations. So I uh, taught several uh, classes for the, you know, the probation, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the, those in the subject to the, you know, the, the copyright uh, uh, criminal infringement. Also, if you are living in Korea, uh, you are subject to the, some kind of the violation and the piracy. Uh, you can use the copyright conciliations, online copyright conciliations uh, uh, before the, you know, the KCC. Okay, uh, that's uh, all I have uh, for this, uh, you know, the lecture. So we can have the uh, photo uh, shoot all together and just, uh, you know, uh, what is it? Stay still in the three seconds. Okay. Cheese, kimchi. One more time. Usually in Korea, 
three types. <laughs> One, two. Yeah. Thank you.